Hello students, in this video we'll see how to compute present values of annuities and insurance where we're assuming a uniform distribution of deaths between integer ages. So if we consider a uniform distribution of deaths between integer ages, We recall what this means. This means a variety of different things. The first thing it means is that if we look at QXS, this will be S times QX if S is between 0 and 1. So that's one thing it says. Now if this is true, then we also have the following relationship that S QX is equal to S times QX. And if we do the derivative of this with respect to S, what we'll get, we'll get two different things. The derivative of the left-hand side will just be FXS, the PDF, and this one will be equal to, under the uniform distribution of S, just QX. Now we know the PDF is equal to PXS, the survival function, times the force of mortality function Q mu x plus s. And so in particular, what this says is gives us a representation for the following things. It gives us several different things. The first thing it tells us is that qx is pxs mu x plus s. And so in particular, what this says, this says that mu x plus s is qx over, and then pxs, I'll write that as 1 minus s qx. And so what this turns into is this turns into qx over 1 minus s times qx. And that gives us a formula for the force of mortality under the assumption, under the uniform distribution of death's assumption. Now, what we can do is this. And we can also know that, note one other thing. So one other note is that for life tables, for life tables, we have the following. We have that qx s will be lx minus lx plus s over lx. And now lx under the UDD is going to be over lx. It's going to be a 1 minus s lx and then plus s lx plus 1. And now we can simplify a little bit. This is going to be s lx minus this is S LX minus LX plus 1 over LX. And again, we see that this is identically equal to just S times QX in agreement with this statement over here, this UDD assumption. So this statement over here is equivalent to the fact that you interpolate linearly between different life uh, elements in the life table. Now, there's several important relationships that happen with insurance products. What we can do is we can compare continuous insurance to whole life insurance by the following relationship that A x bar is going to be I over delta A x. And so we can write this, of course, as I over the log of 1 plus I A x. And then we have the same thing for term insurance. Term insurance has the following relationship. If I do continuous term, this is I over delta regular term. And if I do endowment insurance, something changes here. For endowment insurance, I will have I over delta A x n1 term. And then the pure endowment part happens at a particular moment of time, so it is not affected by the continuous distribution. So then I'll add on to that just an E x n over here. And finally we have the deferred, so I have n a x continuous is i over delta ordinary deferred insurance. So those are the UDD assumptions for insurance. Now one other note over here is if we do twice the force of mortality, so just note, if I do 2 a x bar, what I'll get is I will have something of the effect, I will have i squared plus 2i over 2 delta, 
and then times the ordinary ax2. So if I, twi if I do twice the force of mortality, we replace all the i's, get replaced with i squared plus 2i, and all the deltas get doubled. Now we get corresponding relationships for the annuity features. So for annuities, we have the following. So we will have two parameters, am and bm. And so we'll see this, so it can be shown. that if I do something like this, if I do a x, for example, double dot m payments, this will be f parameter alpha m, a x double dot minus beta m. And these alpha and beta are written in terms of i and d and the corresponding rates. So here, the values alpha m and beta m are found in tables. Thank you very much.